We're taking a look at this 2015 Winnebago bunk bed motorhome. And I'm gonna start with a test drive and we're gonna go on and show you the inside and outside video tour. So let's hop in the driver's seat and show you how it drives. This has the Ford van cab, which makes it car-like driving experience. Nice car-like sun visors here. I've got my backup camera right there displaying on my navigation screen. Now, this is navigation ready. You add the uh, module to it and then it has full function in-dash navigation. Uh, it's a very nice Pioneer radio unit. You can buy the navigation adapter on Amazon it's not expensive it's a couple hundred bucks and hook it up plugs in the back of the radio and then you have full featured navigation it's really a nice radio and pioneer when it comes to aftermarket radios is one of the best very good i i like them i've bought them for other vehicles and uh, it's nice so this is a very powerful v10 engine it has 10 cylinders it's fairly efficient. It's uh, not as tall as the big Class A's. In the Class A's, you get a lot more sun in the Class C. This is a Class C with the van front end, so it has more of a shady cab. I still have excellent visibility out my windows and I can see the lovely outdoors. I could drive and it's not too noisy. This is a 2015, so it's not too much heat or anything from underneath. It's nicely done. With the V8, I'm sorry, the V10, you have plenty of torque and power. And I want to explain something, which I talk about in my tech sometimes, but this has what's called tow haul mode. So by pushing the button on the gear selector, the light comes on on the dash, it says tow haul mode. And that's a really big deal. When you're in tow haul mode and you apply the brakes, it automatically downshifts the transmission for you. Because when you're driving in the mountains, and I would think with an RV you would want to go up in the mountains. When you're driving in the mountains and you're going down a hill, you just turn on tow haul mode and it automatically downshifts when you apply the brakes. And it uh, keeps your brakes lasting much longer, they operate much cooler, and a lot of downhill grades you don't even need to use the brakes it'll slow using engine braking and that's the way you handle it because you don't want to be riding your brakes in any vehicle I see people doing it when I'm on my RV trips and I drive about 8,000 miles a year in RVs cross-country I have excellent mirrors with wide convex over there I can see very well both sides great visibility when you turn right you just watch to make sure you have clearance so you don't run over the curb and then you just drive it you have to pull out a little bit further than with a passenger car before you start turning so your rear wheels can make the turn radius but it's it's not a big deal it's fairly easy to drive and talking about that tow haul mode I see it all the time people are riding on their brakes coming down a hill to keep the speed from getting too fast but you never want to ride your brakes coming down a hill you want to use the transmission and that means you either downshift to a lower gear but this one does it automatically it just downshifted right now I haven't touched my brakes I just let off the gas and it's slowing down under engine braking now I'm touching the brakes so when you're driving a vehicle a passenger car a Prius it doesn't matter a pickup truck they all have downshift capability and you want to use the downshift mode to drive uh, down hills in a low gear and that's made very easy because there's just one button operation and it helps you too to be in the power band when you're towing a trailer so let's go on to the inside okay I've stopped and let's call this my campground and I'm ready to open up my slide outs let's walk through and see how much room we have first you pick up anything that fell down like your armrest for your sofa you got quite a bit of room in here to walk around it's very spacious 
I'm going to turn on my movie light so you can see better and then when I go on my full walk around you can see even better still. So I set the foot brake and I come to my slide panel and all I got to do is press out and I can actually move both of my slides at the same time. I do recommend you only do one at a time so you can keep your eye and make sure nothing is going to have an interference but it has the capability to do both at the same time and now we're all opened up so I'm gonna show you that in a minute but first let's go back outside so we're gonna start outside here I will point out this is a 2015 and it is a glossy white exterior which interestingly enough makes it stay cooler it has the electric awning which I hit a button right here and is opening up. Switch right by the door that makes it easy to open. And it's unrolling. And it has two positions. If you want, you can loosen this nut and another one on the other one and pull it down even further in case the sun is coming at a very steep angle. But at this height, it gives you good head clearance. Close the door right here. It's got nice graphics on it. The graphics are all in great condition. The awning fabrics are all in great condition. It's had service done. So it's, it's ready to go. You could jump in it right now and go camping. It's got fresh water, the tanks are emptied out. It's all clean, everything looks good. It's been inspected. And let's take a walk around tour of the outside. It's a very glossy. It is a 2015, so it has a mirror finish exterior. And I said the awnings are in great condition, so let's go take a look. I'm going to lift the camera up so you can look at the awning fabric. The roof is in great condition. The tires are in excellent condition. A lot of tread on those tires. This only has 20,000 miles. Those tires will probably go to 60,000 miles. The, you know, this was a one owner vehicle. Just a family owned it, their family on title. They used it, they camped in it. It's had a lot of service on it. It's nice, clean, and you have this mega cargo storage area with the little latch keepers. Remember, I'm working with one hand here because I'm holding the camera. And you've got everything you need to hook up at the campground. You've got a hose with a water pressure regulator. You've got a sewer connection hose. You've got a little rug to put under your mat. There's even some padding in there. But you got this giant cargo cavern in here, so you could fit some large objects, folding tables, things like that. And on this side, it's actually a pass-through to the other side. If I can get my camera in the right mode, it actually goes all the way across to the cargo door on the other side. So it's actually eight feet deep put my camera in the mode to continue and this is a Winnebago Winnebago makes nice stuff the the company Winnebago never went bankrupt during the recession a lot of companies that make make RVs did but Winnebago makes a quality product and they don't screw around with financial gimmicks and they were able to survive the recession without any uh, bankruptcies they're one of the first RV manufacturers. You can watch an old movie like uh, Race to Witch Mountain and there was a flying Winnebago in that movie. Back from the 70s, I guess it was. Winnebago has been around longer than a lot of the other manufacturers. They know what they're doing and they build quality product. When I buy them, I don't have a lot of things going wrong. Let's put the camera up and take some more looks at the roof. They use a quality roof and they I have a 10-year warranty on the roof. There's a 
there's a cover over the um a max air vent cover over the restroom vent so you can leave that open all the time and on other rvs let's show you the towing package too it's got the the towing package on the rear let's put the camera down underneath here and read the label <coughs> It's rated for 300 pound tongue weight or 3,500 pound trailer. So you can tow with it. Towing is no problem. It's got the wiring connector down here, a seven pin connector. It's all wired up and you just hook up your trailer and go. And that's your backup camera, which I showed you earlier. It's a nice backup camera. You can see the whole rear area behind you it makes driving really easy and because again this is an electric awning it rolls up super easy you got nice windows for the bunk beds you've got some power outlets out here so you've got 110 volt power you can connect the tv out here let's see the awning roll up some of them work better than others but this is a really nice high quality power awning it rolls right up no problem I'm just holding the switch down rolled up and put away very nice now I want to keep this video from getting too long but before I go inside I'm gonna take a look these mirrors are designed that if you actually hit something they'll fold automatically back so they avoid braking and you do have the side steps you got three entry doors unlike a class a motorhome you don't have to go up steps to get inside you got nice van style entry which makes getting in and out very easy and i did mention the tires are in great condition there's a lot of tread on those tires and you have that ford v10 engine so let's go in before my video gets too long cover the stuff on the inside so let's start at the electrical panel. This RV has its own onboard generator. Let's see if we can start that sucker up. Starts up right away. Only a couple seconds to start up the generator there. You have your level tests right here so you can check your water tanks. Black is empty, gray is empty, fresh is full. You have some propane and your batteries are in great condition. You turn on the water pump. You can turn on the water heater. So you have hot water to take a shower or do dishes got a nice linen storage area right here you got your queen bed right here very nice queen bed I had the same uh, or very similar motorhome earlier this year it's a very nice motorhome the one who bought that is actually gonna rent it out they seem to be popular for rental purposes it's a nice queen bed that I can walk all the way around nice wooden cabinets here we're gonna go and turn on the TVs and look at some of the entertainment systems I started up the generator and I'm running the TVs and I've fired up the lights and everything so it's a little bit brighter in here you've got a nice spacious layout you've got three TVs in here and this top bunk TV, these TVs are actually brand new. They still have all the plastic protection on them. They're brand new. These TVs will run on 12 volt power or on generator or plugged into the outlet. Your bunks each have their own TV. You've got all the remote controls for everything. And this even has storage underneath the bottom bunk each bunk has a little light in here that you can turn on so each has its own big TV and the TV has its own DVD player so you just load the DVD right in here or you can put an SD card you can plug in a video game console that has HDMI and this is free over-the-air broadcast you're looking at right now so when you go to a nice campground, you can cha change it to channel 2, 2.2, 4.1. 
it'll auto tune to the channels in your area or you can plug in to cable TV at the campground and get their cable TV and auto tune to that as an onboard signal booster so you can pick up stations in remote areas in this area these TVs will pick up hundred and sixty channels hey there's old uh, emergency on channel 4.2 or 5.1 got the latest news on channel 5 so you've got a lot of wardrobe cabinets so you can hang up your clothes in the wardrobe the bed linens are new the bags are still here even the boxes that the TVs came in are here these are brand new TVs complete with a box and warranty books and everything you have additional wardrobes cabinets over here you have wardrobe cubby right there additional coat hanging ability power outlet by the bed you have drawers a little nightstand right there you have a privacy curtain that closes off for privacy between the master suite and the the bedroom it's a very nice layout your air conditioning is on you have a thermostat right here you've got cool fan off for heat and then the fan can run in auto position. Let's talk about the kitchen. So let's take a look at the kitchen. You've got a three burner cooktop. It's simple to light. You just turn this and then they ignite. That's your igniter. Have to wait for the gas to travel up to the burner and then they light right up and there you go you got ready to fry some eggs or cook some bacon it does have a glass backsplash on here and uh, a nice working area to work with you have a vent fan you got a light you got a nice microwave here when you get to where you're going you just straighten it out here so your turntable is in order because of the motion of driving it's good to go ready to start heating up food speaking of heating up food this also has a gas LP propane oven and everybody th might think hey I have a microwave I my wife never uses the oven but we don't dry camp that much some campgrounds we go to like full hookup campgrounds so we can plug in use a microwave we never have to worry but if you go to some campgrounds like national or state parks that don't have electrical plug-ins you can still camp there but then they might have a curfew that you can't run the generator after 8 p.m. and so the gas oven is really handy if you have one of those curfews at the campground that you choose my wife and I we like the full hookup campgrounds so curfews don't matter to us we can roll in at 1 in the morning and sometimes we have try to be quiet and hook up set up and we're camped you have this double sink the water is on all the water works great there's no splattery it works really good it's a double sink you just move it over and you're good to go <coughs> this nice refrigerator I've had a professional housekeeper come through and clean everything and then I had a detailer detail this RV including waxing the outside It's fully waxed the refrigerator works let me explain the refrigerator real quick this uses electric or propane gas you just turn it to auto position and the refrigerator comes on and it'll start cooling down now motorhome refrigerators work or we'll call them RV refrigerators they use this type of refrigerator in boats, in RVs, and uh, camping trailers and things like that. It actually uses ammonia and water going through a labyrinth in the back to cool things down. So when you go camping, if you haven't turned your refrigerator on a, a day before, make sure you only put cold food in there. And then the refrigerator will cool down right away. But if you put hot food in a warm refrigerator, it'll take a long time to cool down so you want to put cold food in your refrigerator and it'll 
get cold and if you load it with cold food you're you can put a bottle of water in there and they'll chill them right away but refrigerators the first initial cooling takes about 12 to 24 hours to be fully cooled down and if you put cold food in it first like throw a bag of ice in in the freezer and cold stuff in the refrigerator it'll probably reduce that time to about two hours as long as the food is already cold so they work really good so let me explain how this works so you don't have to be connected to anything you can be driving down the road with the generator off and the refrigerator will stay cold you can park at the campground with no hookups and the refrigerator will stay cold because it uses a 12 volt circuit from the RV batteries to uh, operate the propane flame to heat that mixture in there in the labyrinth it heats it it rises up cools down and drops down into the refrigerator and by the time it gets there it's freezing cold mixture and then that ammonia and uh, water mix goes down and cools the bottom and then it heats it back up and comes back to the top and that's how they work this labyrinth behind and so it doesn't require being plugged in to operate if you plug it in and you're at a full hookup campground you don't use propane, you use electric heat and it, it saves your your gas bill. You're using the campground's power instead of your own propane. But you can go dry camp for days and days and days and it'll last and last and last. This is a nice motorhome. It'll sleep two on the queen bed. It'll sleep two on the bunk beds, and these are nice big bunks. Let's see how I fit in there. Let me kick off my shoes real quick. And I have room in here to sit here and watch TV, curl up with my pillows. And I'm not short, and I have plenty of room in here. If you have kids in here, they can sit here and they won't be kicking the TV. I'll just leave my shoes off as we tour the rest of the motorhome. So the queen is two, the bunk bed sleeps two. I go up to the sofa, and this is a jackknifing sofa. So you release the handle in the front, and it jackknifes down into a bed. I could do it one handed. And you could sleep one, maybe two people here. Your dinette. You lift up the leg, you lift up the cushions and then slide down and it fits in these little slots right here. The table does and then you put the cushions in between, that turns into a bed. And you can sleep one, maybe two. And up in the overhead, you can push your TV out of the way. I need to use two hands. So you push the TV out of the way and then you're your cushion flips over here like so and then you have the ladder up there and that ladder hooks in right here so you have access to your front bunk area and then there's a curtain up there that covers the driver's area and then you're camped with privacy you have nice shades here for privacy those are very smooth operating shades. The, you could easily sleep two adults or probably three kids in the overhead bunk area. And uh, you know, three kids going this way or two adults lengthways could fit up there. So how many is that? That's two, four, six, eight. Eight is no problem. Ten. If you have small people here and small people there, you might be able to fit 10, but eight, for all practical purposes, eight to 10 people could sleep in here. If you really wanted to cram them in, you could put somebody on a sleeping bag on the floor, there's enough room, but then if somebody has to get up at night, they're gonna, they might get stepped on. And 
You can always put a tent outside if you have more people. How many people you want to bring anyways? Not too many. So, let's go on to the final phase of my video. So now I've turned the dinette into a bed so you can see it in bed form. The cushions, the back cushions can go in the middle to turn it into a sleeping area. And you've got a nice notch out here to make it possible to recline the right front seat. That's something Winnebago does for you. It's nice. So if you want to sit in the front seat and recline, you could do that as well, driving or parked. Let's go take a look at the restroom before we wrap it up here. It's a very nice, clean restroom. Like I mentioned, I had a professional come through and clean everything. So the sink and everything looks, actually looks like brand new. Nice, smooth water, not splattering. And you know, we're in the middle of a parking lot, so you're on the own internal pump. We're basically dry camped here. We're not on any kind of hookups. We're on generator with onboard water. And your shower works. You can take a nice shower here with your onboard water supply. Hot and cold running water. And you have a release here to unclip your doors so you can take your shower. And these are glass door enclosures. They lock into position so they don't slide around when you're driving. And I mentioned this roof vent has a weatherproof cover over it so this vent could stay open even if it's raining outside or snowing or wind and dust blowing you can leave this open and it's protected so you have fresh air in your restroom at all times speaking we're going to take a look at the toilet this was professionally cleaned and serviced so the toilet flushes you just have a foot pedal flush it flushes no problem it works perfectly you got power outlets in the restroom, you got drawer storage. Let's take a look under the cabinets. It's nice and clean under there. It hasn't been storing any destructive items. Let's open some more cabinets and look underneath. In the kitchen, under the kitchen cabinet, I'm gonna turn on my movie light. It's nice and clean. There hasn't been things rattling around in there. Well, that means this is not a lived-in RV because when people live in things, they have all their pots and pans down there. Very little wear and tear. It's a 2015. It has 20,000 miles, but it looks like it has 6,000 miles. It's really in great condition. Nice, clean. This is your curtain for your, uh, your bunk over here. My name is Mike Johnson. Give me a call, 951-681-2101. Told you the linen is brand new. Top and bottom linen are all brand new, never slept on. Mike Johnson, give me a call on my phone, 951-681-2101. This was filmed in the late October, 2017.